Oh my god! Hey Ratbags, it's Jade. I've literally just kicked in for the first time. And I I don't know if I'm ready for this. I, I've got a raid coming. The first raid is 11 days into the game. And it's all weavers. All weavers first. After I killed all them baby spiderlings, it must have triggered them in the hedge. Oh no, this is not the one. This might be a serious test of how far I get in my one life. Oh, go away. Keep up. Yes. Go on, one more hit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I was not ready. Literally just logged in. I was about to do an intro. And now I've got to deal with all these suckers. Come up. Come up. Maybe go for the big one first. Oh, thank God that knocked him out. Oh, more armors. No. Whoa. Oh. Don't know what's going on. Come up. Oh. Oh. Okay, Ooh, oh boy. Do you know why I was panicking and worried there? Because obviously, as you get further in the game, they do get a lot harder. But thankfully, obviously, when you're still starting, the difficulty is maybe not that much. I forgot that, I forgot. They have changed and fixed that quite a bit. It used to be quite OP. So that was, that was a good balance. That, that was heart attack over maybe, just about over. Okay, but this has definitely strengthened my resolve that we've got to move. Now, I was going to do this in a live stream, and I probably am still going to. But I feel like I want to get to where I want to go, and we're going to literally build a way up there and people might feel I'm a bit boring now but I'm going to build exactly where I built last time pretty much pretty much because I still feel like it's the best place for a base location now we can all agree or disagree on the best place you might prefer doing one thing you might find it's easy and convenient to build a base exactly where you spawn others might have in a base that's a bit unique in some strange locations like maybe right in the hedge like a tree house or others might want somewhere really central I have kind of gone for that. You do spend a lot of time in the upper yards, or we will do eventually. And so it's worth investing in building something where you're kind of right in the middle of things and you can get to the upper yards and the lower yards really easily. And for me, the best place is the middle flower bed up here. I built my blast base there. Maybe I'll switch it around a little bit. Maybe we'll build just a little bit close over here. Because I did notice actually it was quite easy for enemies to come along from that top walk there and basically destroy my little gatehouse that I had a bridge. And uh, yeah, basically, we're going to build something close to it. So first things first, let's build a staircase up to here. Now, we haven't got mushroom bricks at the moment, so it's going to have to just be a good old regular one. And we're going to have to suppose about where exactly this, this one will be. I think that will be good enough, though. So if we plan it out a little bit. Oh, I'm going to have to get structural support, or is it because it just needs filling up? Grass planks and weed stems. Okay, let's, let's get to it, baby. Cue the gathering montage. Oh, that realization! I haven't got the I haven't got the scaffolding. I haven't got it unlocked. Why not? That's so strange. Is it because I've not scanned a weed stem? It could be, you know. It could be. All right, let's go and quickly um, scan a weed stem. Where's like the nearest one? Oh my god, it's miles away. Yes, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, there we go. Phew, for a minute now, I thought I'd have to waste, like, money, like, my raw science on, on getting more unlocks, but no, of course not. Now, yes, I do realise I could have just built a ramp up here, and that might have been easier. It might have been. But I don't want to, I want a proper staircase. I think what I'll do this time as well, which I didn't do, was we'll build an actual proper gatehouse around this stairwell, because that is something I didn't do last time. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it is a bit dangerous though at the moment. Well, and don't forget, Jade, you can't pause the game anymore. And I've got no arrows. Oh, I must have chucked him in the chest. Okay. Go on, go about your business, pal. Go, no, go about your, go about your business. <laughs> that was the worst throw. The worst, just boink. Bro. Oh, that was pretty good though. Oh, ow, burning. 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 No, he's not going to stop, is he? I've got to take him out. Ah! Oh! 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 Come on! Yeah, that's it. Go on. Get back! Get back! Back to the hell that you can Oh no! Oh no, he's in my stairwell. Ah, oh, bro! Ah! Ah! Why are you angry? I've never touched you, bro! Get out of here, son! Get out of here! Oh god. Oh, 
Okay. Yes. Right, we go again. 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 I'm not gonna let a little thing like just one of these annoying little gits upset my uh, path to glory with my stairwell. So weird. Uh, I can have one there, but you can't have one connecting just here. I don't need. Yeah, maybe I just need a bracket support. There we go. So maybe I didn't need to bring it, build that whole massive staircase. Who are you fighting, bro? Who are you fighting? Creatures out here. They're like me. They just fight anything. Some sort of pollen particle looking at him funny. Who are you, bro? I'm going to have you up. That's what that ant's doing right now. Perfect. There we go. And then we'll just do... Oh, I guess it's got to be uh, flat ones. Oh, no. I don't have to go and get all this stuff. I'm just ever so short. Yeah, grass. Just do grass. There we go. For now. That'll do. I realised I should have been wearing my ant armour for this. Oh, one more. One more. There we go. That's it. Oh, ah, they went up here. They fell down here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So this is it. This is generally where I think some of the best places for a base are. You don't get attacked as much. Creatures can't come up that dirt for some reason as much. You only have to deal with occasional brood mother. Not brood mother. Um, the other one. The, the woolly one. Totally forgot those creatures' names. And yeah, maybe there's some larvae there, the spicy ones, but there is also obviously the science station right next door as well. It's just, I feel it's just the perfect place. So, like I said, I built pretty close to that last time. I feel maybe we could do it a bit nearer here. Could be cool having, actually, we could build just a bit further down and have the actual gnome as like a little backdrop. That might be interesting could have a base right in front of the gnome. Obviously, I do realise I'm also near the ascent anyway, where you come up here. That's where you're meant to come up, by blowing the rocks, and you could just build. But it's worth having a, a staircase close to where you're going to be up and down all the time. That's a pain in the ass getting all the way over here. So, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good look. I feel like this is good. You know what else we need now, though? I'm starting to really feel it. I want mushrooms. I do love my mushroom castles. All right, so I've got my base set up. Well, the area at least. And we've got a quick way to get up there. You know what we need to do now, though? We need to move our shenanigans over there. That's what we need to do. Oh, it's so much easier now. Because guess what? You get everything back when you dismantle stuff. Oh, it's amazing. Dismantle that. Perfect. Although I might rebuild that two seconds. Because I just realised I want I need, I need lots of web if we're going to get some sort of um, zip lines going. So let's do that first before we sleep. This can go for sure. That's a brood mother. God, it's the fear. The fear of seeing that grass stalks move. Yeah, this one I want to move. It's time. You know what we'll try and do? We'll try and get all this stuff moved over. Perfecto, perfecto. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put stuff here for now. We'll just make like a little camp here. Now, actually, as a point, as we're going through this, I realise we could start getting prepared. We are going to need to kill a bunch of these guys for the ovens. So I might as well start now. Because it'll take a few days to respawn as well. Ow! But to be fair, that didn't even hurt that much. So we'll come back. We'll nab some of that stuff in a minute. Or well, actually, maybe I can just get sort of stuff. Oh, there's a stink bug over there as well. He's out of bounds. He's a bit over. Okay, last chest, and then just got to get the rest of the gear. Woo, look at this stuff. Don't want to be aggroed, because if you get aggroed, you lose the placement of your chest, and you've got to go back and do it again. It's just a pain in the butt. So you can do this pretty far, but it's worth just plonking it down every so often, just in case you do get jumped by a spider. Or suntink, or sootink. Oh, we're nearly there. Nearly home. Look at that beautiful staircase. We'll upgrade it though to something like mushroom soon. Alrighty. Dump as much stuff off as I can. Okay, that should be enough. And last trip. I'll probably leave the structure there. I'm not going to go to the uh, effort of destroying grass plants and stuff. We'll leave that as just like a little temporary one. That's what I've always done as well. We'll leave the fire pit and that kind of stuff there. 
just in case I need somewhere to go. Quickly dump some stuff off. And yeah, really, the last reason that I'm moving right now is that, yeah, once you've done the hedge and the pond, there's not too many more reasons to be over that side. Like, yeah, I've probably got to do another few runs to get berries, which I haven't got a lot of. And obviously there's lots of stuff to go and explore and do. Still got to get loads of rocks that are scattered around. But that's it. Once you do the hedge, you should be looking to move sort of more west. So I'll leave that. I'll leave that. I'll leave that. I will take this stuff for me, though. How much does it cost to do a smithing station? Brittle plating, crude rope, and a bit of sap. Yeah, I think we can afford some of that. I'm not going to need the smoothie station over here. No, actually, to be fair, I'm not going to need any of that stuff here. Let's take it all. We'll just leave this here, the crafting station, a bed, and a fire. Ah, what the hell. We'll take some of these with us. Okay, goodbye. Oh, no. Maybe I'll do the duplets as well. Though. Okay, we're good to go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, boy. Nearly there. Nearly there. Resetting everything. There we go. Well, I keep saying setting respawn point, but of course, if I die, that's it. It's over. In fact, yeah, it's got sleep. That's why I use them. I was like, why do I use these then? Perfect. It's got the fire. got everything. My jerky rack. Let's get that back up. Smoothie station, that's the next one as well. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, quick, give me, give me. Maybe I can, oh no, no, no. Ah, oh, no, please don't see that. Oh my God, my aim, my aim, my aim's gone so bad. Oh, no. No, no. I'm not ready to deal with them yet. Damn it. That was so bad. I'm usually so good at shotting. I think that's because I was, you know, was preoccupied with doing my base. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get that on the go straight away. Perfect. I don't know why I'm building that right now. I don't need to build that right now. There we go. We've done it. We've got all our base stuff back in play. And we're good to go for a next bout of adventures. Hope you enjoy my one life series. And until next time at Bags, I shall catch you later.